Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. Today is August 30th, 2013. Still here in Kuala Lumpur. Just finished up with Narbix CCIE 12 day bootcamp and uh, been working for the last month on these uh, GNS3 configurations for his workbooks. And let me just show you what I have here. It's about 60% done. I'm going to show you how to use it, where to get it, and uh, what you can do with it. So first of all, let me show you the sizzle here. After you load everything up, and I'm just going to show you what cool stuff you could do with it, and then I'll explain how you can use it. So you've loaded everything up. All you have to do to start with the lab is, let's say you want to work on a lab in Advanced Routing and Switching Volume 1, and today you feel like working with GRE Tunnels. Double click on GRE Tunnels, you can see all the labs are there. Double click on this, and you see Topology, a .NET file. Simply double click. It's going to fire up GNS3. Topology is going to come up. You click play. Everything starts turning green. And now let's console into your routers. Now, if you click on this, it's going to open up separate console windows uh, by default. But if you're smart like me, you have Super Putty. Super Putty fires up. I've got this Narbic GNS3. As you can see, all the devices are already set up, pre-configured to go to their uh, particular ports. Right click, connect all, open all 13 sessions, sure. And in about 10 seconds, I will be available. All of these routers will be available and we are up and running. Of course, this will depend on whether you have a fast computer or a slow computer. This particular computer I'm running on is a Core i7-4500U, which is on a Sony Pro 13 Vio Ultrabook. So, decent processor, not as good as the actual quad-core Core i7, but it will work. And just to show you that there are no tricks, show IP interface brief, and I have a config. I've got some IP addresses on there. When I'm ready to, to lab, I just fire in my commands, and I'm good to go. When you're ready to stop, all you have to do is go back to GNS3, click the red stop button. That will automatically close your terminal windows and close out GNS3, and you're done. All right, so where to get this? Go to routergods.com, of course. And then right now it's on the front page. You just click on that link to get it. If for some reason, well, assuming if you're watching this a uh, couple months later and I have a different front page story, all you have to do is go up here to this menu, this really awesome menu that I took years to make. No, I just bought it and pre-configured it. Uh, just go over to resources and you can see I've got Narbic GNS3. That's where you would click. I've got general GNS3 topologies and over here I'll have some INE uh, stuff. I'm going to change this up a bit. So right now if you want to find the INE GNS3 configs, just click on GNS3 topologies. But in the future, I'll have a separate INE header. So click on Narbic GNS3 and just click on that link. You'll get a compressed file, a zipped file. Just unzip it and let me show you what you'll get. And also on this particular page, you'll see that uh, we have some basic instructions here. Main thing is the contents. I'll show you that these are the current labs that are already done in advanced routing and switching. And then I've gotten most of advanced bootcamp done, at least uh, workbook volume one. You will have to change the idle PC and iOS image location. I'll show you that in just a second. And uh, there is a super putty file for you guys if you're too lazy to make your own sessions. All right, let's show you what's in that wonderful zip file. After you unzip it, you are going to get these files. You've got folders for Advanced Bootcamp Volume 1 and Volume 2, Advanced Routing and Switching Volume 1 and Volume 2. There's Blank, I'll explain what that is in a couple seconds, and Foundation. Now, there's not actually anything in Foundation. That is because you generally start with the physical topology, which is this guy right here, Narbix GNS3 Windows Blank. And what this does is it loads up a a configuration where there's no there's nothing there there's no IP addresses nothing like that and the whole point of foundation is you're starting with bare routers and you're configuring everything from scratch just so you get used to the typing 
So that's why when you double click into the foundation workbooks, there's nothing there because there's not supposed to be anything there. I might put some stuff in here later on, but uh, that depends on how I feel. So this blank one is, once again, if you want to start up with the, the devices are connected, but there's no configuration. Now, some of this stuff is slightly different. I'm going to be include in here a mapping the, which let's just double click on there. Now, because the NM16 module in GNS3 is different than the actual 3560 routers, so the 3560, the switches, uh, have 24 ports, depending on the model, right? But the switches inside of GNS3, if you put in the switch module, is 16 ports. So we had to change the mappings of these. So if you see here, switch 1 and switch 2, if in the physical topology it's 0 019, 0 020, then it maps to 17 and 18 inside of GNS3. And all of these .NET files have this mapping table. I'm also going to include it as a text file in a couple bit. I just have to add it into the archive. Let's close out of there. So blank, when you want to start from blank, that's going to be for the foundation. For all these other workbooks, we have .NET files, so you go to the particular topic. Let's say you want to study RIP. They're divided into the labs. Double click into lab one and you simply double click on there. This is assuming your GNS3 is all set up and then everything will fire up. Now you see there's this text file called converted VLANs. Just double click on there and uh, this actually doesn't have any VLANs you need to paste in but um, on uh, some of these there's VLAN 100, VLAN 200, etc. and after you start up GNS3 you just paste these VLANs into the switches and then you'll be up and running. Working directory has nothing there. This is a just a temp folder. While you're running this, it's going to put some stuff in here. Nothing's going to be in the QEMU flash drives. Don't worry about that. that. Uh, these two folders, the working and flash drives, uh, the new GNS384 likes to create them by default, so I just kind of leave them there. And configs are R1 to R6, the switches and the backbones. If you want to edit them, just simply right click, edit notepad plus plus or notepad or whatever text editor you have. So it's pretty pretty simple stuff. Uh, once again the super putty session import if you're running super putty just click import sessions in your super putty and import this particular file it will make all the routers all the switches and the backbones and uh, it will just make your life a lot easier. Of course you could do it um, yourself if you want if you don't have super putty this is how you would do it. Inside of GNS3, if you hover over each device, it's going to tell you the console port. So here on, I'm on Backbone 3, the console port is 2013. You're going to be telnetting to your own machine, 127.001. And so you would just make, in whatever terminal program you're using, like Secure CRT or whatever, just do the appropriate mappings. Now GNS3 8.4 now has, in its preferences, a lot more uh, terminal settings that you could try. This might work. Uh, I haven't had too much success with it, but uh, you could pick whatever uh, terminal program you want. And then after you start all of your routers and switches, just click on play and uh, hope for the best. And then click on start console to all devices and see if that works. All right, so also these configs and .NET files only work for Windows. Uh, once I have all of these working for Windows, all the labs popped in, then I simply run Notepad++ or, and uh, script, and I'm going to convert everything in one shot to Linux, but I think it's better, it's simpler and safer just to finish the Windows guys, the Windows uh, configs and nets, and then work on Linux and the Macs. Alright, so that was the Narbic. GNS3 configs should help you quite a bit on your studies. This is the same thing I did for INEs, uh, all of their workbooks, at least for workbook one and most of workbook two. Simply go to router gods, go up to resources, and Narbic GNS3. Thanks for watching.